remember the first time that I Hey guys, I'm back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to give you guys a tour of my little nail shelf I have in my closet. Yeah. I have not uploaded in a while. I've been very, very busy. But let's get into the video. Okay. So first I'm going to show you. Is this is all my gel stuff because I prefer gel over acrylics. I have both, but I personally like doing gel better. I just have this, um, I don't know what it's called. The air comes out of it. So I have that. Um, and I'll show you what I usually will put in that are my oils. I'm actually going to unbox them right now. So. And these are like not super strong oils, but like, um, there's peppermint. It is very faint, not super faint. It's not like you can't smell it. I have lemon. Can I drop the hanger? But you know, that's okay. And I have tea rose. That's my favorite. Then I have eucalyptus. Like eucalyptus. That's how we're gonna say it. And then lavender. I have those two. Okay. I also have more colors of nail polish coming and I'll what update you guys that on my Instagram. Okay, the next um just this is so whenever I want to I can restock it. Um is just my uh Christmas cookies lotion. I it says body lotion. I use it on my hands, and whenever I do someone else's nails, I do it on those too. And then I just painted these. I hope it worked. Okay. So this I use on hands too. It's a sugar scrub. I made made that yesterday, and that's in the purple container, then in the blue container. Um, to soak hands. Um, is just, I'm not going to dump it out because it's just some Epsom salt. FYI, don't try and make a salt scrub out of it. It don't work. But then in the red one, I can dump it out because it won't do anything. I just have lotion. It's that lotion I just used. Then I have my, um, I have my cuticle oil. I love using cuticle oil. My, um, I'm waiting on doing my nails just because they're kind of weak because I've been doing them a lot lately. And, um, my nails are always the strongest when I put the cuticle oil on my actual nails. Okay. And then I'm not going to take all these out. I'm just going to take out a couple um, is my glitters. I have a bunch of glitters that I use. There's, I have a bunch of chunky glitters and just little normal glitters. Okay. I'm trying to do it in like a corner. Then, I have my nail file collection. I shape my nails. Uh, that'll come into play in just a moment. I have a bunch of nail files. Just... Um, I have one by Suv, and this is not one of my favorites just because, like, um, the nail tips, um, scratched it up like that. Um, I like using these. These are one of the ones I recommend if you're shaping, um, acrylic tips or just, um, plastic nails. Um, I also very much like this one because it's a very, very rough and will get the job done. This was one of my favorites. It's, I got it from Model Loans. That's the brand of nail stuff I really, really like. Then another really rough one. And then I um, had two from Model Loans. This one, I thought was this one, but was that's one. This is the favorite one. You can see that I've used it a bunch. Now this is just one of the very faint ones. Um, then I have Nail Buffer. We love a good buffer. And then, it's going to be a long video. Just a cuticle pusher and some clippers. Okay, nail files are being a little temperamental. 
Okay, so I'm gonna show you this real quick. Oh, the Ow. Okay. So this is my um, electrical nail buffer. That's what I'm gonna call it. Just their settings. And it's, the reason I'm showing you this now is because um, I'll show you the tips I have. I have a bunch of tips. A lot, that's it. All of them do different things. One's more rough. One, da, da, da. I'm gonna pull out two of these because I'm not gonna have to pull out all of them because I have too many. Nail polishes, um, I numbered them. I lost my sheet, but I'm not gonna make a new one until I get the other nail colors in. But yeah, I just have um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six. Um, obviously, these probably aren't the real numbers. They're probably all mixed in. But then, those are also Malone's, like the nail file. And then Malone's nail gel base and top coat. I'm actually running out of those, so I bought two extras of both. Or one extra. Okay, because the pack I got came with top and base, so I got another one. Then my good, good friend, my UV gel lamp. This is a tiny one. It still gets the job done. Um, so what I do is if I'm doing my gels, I do thumb and then I do these and that's the order I do it in. And then I have my... My, give me that Okay, my, um, jewels. Love those. I use these on my toes a lot. Then, um, I will, I, I'll show you these. I'm holding, there is a piece of popcorn in there, but we're going to talk about it. So I have these, they are actually all mixed up because I had an accident where I messed up. And these are just the ones you just put on your nails. I use these a bunch with gel because they're easier because whenever you're ready to have them you can just pop them off. That's why I'm not a nail tech. So don't trust me. Sorry. Well, trust me with your nails. Just like if, if there's something super scientific about nails that no professional would know, don't ask me. And then I have my glues. I have um, Kiss brand of nail glue. This one won't open, but besides the point. Then um, I think it's. MX Bond. This is the brand of glue I really, really like because it works. Um, and there's a good applicator. So I have two of those. And then, okay, lay those down. Then I have, um, this doesn't have a brand, it just says nail glue. These are the ones where you have to cut off the tip and use it, but I never use them because they're too much work. I'm lazy. Okay, so then I have UV gel cleanser. Um, I don't know what they're used for. I think they're used to clean the nails. I don't know. Have a pack of these. There's a bunch in here. And then I have um, removal detect. Remove UV gel. These. I have a bunch of these. Last but not least, my acrylic tips. Yes, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I just have, um, I have whites, and then I have off whites. <laughs> There's just like that. And just refilled them. Um, and if you go to my TikTok, I'll put it in below. Um, my account's private, and I'm really mad about it, but that's okay. Um, so I'll put my TikTok and you can see me do this whole drawer. I'm going to set this up and I am going to talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, check my social medias. I'll update you when the new colors come in um, and show them off and new nail stuff coming to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was very fun for me to make. Um, so yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.